Okay, I had several teachers that inspired me to become a teacher. Uh, and it wasn't just because of the stuff that they were teaching, it was mostly like the way that they treated the, treated the students. Uh, how did I find my, my passion for education? Seventh grade, I think it was seventh grade. Uh, and they would take us to elementary school and we would, we would help the, the younger kids out. And I, I absolutely enjoyed it. When we all happened upon COVID, when COVID happened to us, uh, that changed the way that I thought about how I deliver content. And most of us that were, were teaching at that time, we, we got stuck with, with a situation where we had all this stuff available to us anyway, but we had to, uh, we had to adapt to the situation to get all this stuff out to y'all. I like to, uh, I learn by doing. So I can sit there and listen to a whole bunch of people tell me, oh, you should do this, you should do that. But me doing the thing and messing it up, but then learning from my mistakes and improving upon it, that's, that's how I do business. A, a biology teacher, uh, Mr. Fenner, uh, he was, he was a Navy veteran. Uh, he was funny, but he wasn't slapstick funny. He was cerebral funny. Like you, had to, you really had to pay attention to his class to get what was going on, so that way you could have a laugh. That's kind of what you have to do in my class, because uh, sometimes I'll tell, I'll tell a joke, and it'll go over everybody's head, and then I'll have somebody come in the next day is like, you made a joke. Yes, I did. been in the classroom is that being around y'all makes me, it keeps me young. Like I can come in and say that, I use the, the slang that y'all use and, and uh, you know, y'all get, get weirded out by that, but just keeping, that just keeps me going. It's like y'all coming in, telling me about your day, uh, how, you, how you had some success, how you had some failure, that, that really keeps me going because I see, the, I see the impact that, I had, I've, that I've had over the past seven years. I still have students contacting me and saying, hey, Mr. Lerma, uh, the, I, I did this. And I remember when you said this in class that that really, that really got me thinking and, and you helped out. I learned something new every year. Uh, I try to keep it. I, I try to keep keep up with with all the stuff that we do. Sometimes you see things that, that you saw years ago when you when you were a student somewhere else. You see it make a comeback, and you have a frame of reference. But me just learning and learning how to be a, a better teacher that's what keeps me going. The day I come in here and I don't want to be a, a good teacher anymore or learn from my mistakes is, is probably the day that I don't need to be here. Uh, go do something else first. Yeah, I would, if I had to tell you, if you wanted to be a teacher, uh, I would tell you go do something else first. And not because you would be a bad teacher, I just feel like you need a little bit more experience than anything. But if you're starting off in education, you need to realize that there's a lot more things going on out there other than just coming in here and, and doing the school thing. Like the, I've, I've seen a lot of teachers come in, uh, like, you know what I'm saying, they're, 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 that makes them better, but a lot of teachers that have something else to, to offer as far as what this career field does. Uh, yeah, I did that, that wasn't for me. I did this and it was like really cool. Like stuff like that, that's, that helps out in the classroom. But it's, it's, to me it's not necessary, but I would say go do something else. You're welcome.